Do you think they're on their bunny moon? <laughs> hey. hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft on the Kingcraft server. Uh, for those of you still left after that terrible joke, um, I've been working my butt off in the very limited time I've had to play the last week and I think with the exception of some last minute detail work. Uh, the row houses are done around the perimeter of the town square. Um, not all of them have roofs finished on the back, but most of them are complete. Uh, with the ex Well, there's not a whole lot on the inside. Um, most of them are just one big open room like this, but that can be added later uh, since they're mostly just a visual thing. Uh, this one I actually did this morning. Um, it was just really open in this corner of the square, so I kind of thought we needed something just to kind of complete the shape. Um, and I don't want to come over any further because I don't want to block the view of Sin's build. And we can't really come any further to the left because we've got crazy stuff here in the paths going between the buildings. Um, but it was a cool opportunity to see what something like this would be built like if it went over the water. So that was kind of an interesting experiment. I like the way it turned out. And a couple new kind of detail pieces we hadn't done on any of the others. We've got this weird little staircase thing that goes up to the side of the house, to the second story. Open up to the sea. Oh my gosh. Wait. Oh, he must. Yep, he triggered a trap. Oh. <laughs> uh, Stow, you troublemaker. <laughs> um, we've also got another entrance on the same level on the back here, which is kind of cool. And I didn't realize it until after I started building it that Elf is building his spawn house up here. And I kind of blocked his, uh, his what am I trying to say, line of sight blocked his view of spawn with this enormous building so I tried to do some detail on the back so he didn't have to look at just a something like that I'm gonna try and put some detail in the back here like I did here and probably do a little bit more over there maybe a chimney or something I don't know we haven't put chimneys on any of the others so we'll have to see can I make this jump to the water <gasps> oh professional diver um yeah, I'm going to avoid that. <laughs> yep. That's what I would have done. I'll leave it at that. Um, but today what we're going to deal with is... Um, I've been at spawn since we started. Uh, and I've been equipped by people who have gone out into the world and um, lived their lives. Uh, evil gave me all my armor uh, in exchange for glass for uh, I think that was for the mine for the glass elevator um, I think sin brought me a shulker box um, and I've had some other gifts from people uh, forest too. forest just gave me four mending books for whatever reason just hanging out in my mailbox uh, so I've been very fortunate everyone has been very generous since I've been here putting my time into the town square. People have been uh, supplying me with some goodies. Uh, but since I've been here the whole time, I've sort of been living out of my inventory. Um, I've had a few random chests set up around the town square. I think I've got one in one of these two houses with a few goodies, but not a whole lot. Yeah, that's that's what I have to my name. <laughs> so uh, today we are going to build our spawn house. I've looked around the immediate area. Oh, do they run from you now? Rabbit herder. Uh, yeah, I looked around the immediate area just around the square. Didn't find anything, so I went a little bit a ways. Uh, if we just follow this river. And while we do that, we're going to talk a little bit. Oh no, I did the same thing! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. 
That was bad news bears. Was it last episode I had with all the jump scares where I gave myself three or four heart attacks or the one before? Oh, um, I'm going to need to cut. <laughs> In true warrior fashion, I left one lone survivor to tell the tale. <laughs> tale. <laughs> Creepy looking things. Um, but as I was saying, uh, we're going to wander down this creek bed a little ways and we've got some things to talk about. Uh, some of you may know I recently got married, which means I don't get to have fun anymore. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can say these things because I know she doesn't watch my videos. Uh, but in addition to getting married, we're also trying to sell our house and are in the process of trying to find a new one. So a lot of my free time the past two or three weeks has been eaten up by other things. Uh, and as a result, I haven't really had the time to put into Minecraft, so I've been really disappointed with the quality of my last couple of videos. Um, so as a result, I think moving forward, uh, don't expect a regular schedule. So maybe we won't have a weekly video. Uh, if we do, we'll have shorter videos. Or if we don't have shorter videos, we'll be doing smaller tasks. Because uh, when you do an SMP series, you need time to sit down and record, and you also need time in between to make progress uh, between the videos so you're not uh, doing all the boring stuff on camera. Uh, but yeah, so there may be some changes to the schedule moving forward, uh, but we are still here, and it's probably just a temporary thing till things settle down. Uh, but yeah, just something to be aware of. I am, but I'm not going back right now because we're recording, so <laughs> you don't have to know. Um, but yeah, today we're going to work on a spawn house, or at least planning one, depending on how much progress I can get done today. But anyways, I've had a little bit of difficulty trying to come up with an idea for a spawn house. been working on those row houses pretty much non-stop the past two or three weeks, so I'm a little stuck in that style. Uh, but in the past, my favorite projects that I've worked on have been the ones that I put the most thought and detail into planning out. Uh, for instance, the base we had on the last map where we gave it a storyline and kind of let that decide you know, what we built, how we built it, how things were laid out. Uh, just makes it a little bit easier for me to flesh out an idea. So that's kind of what I want to do with everything we do this season. Um, in this instance, I tried to draw inspiration from the biome we're in. Kind of hilly, kind of mountainous, back in the woods. So I think the idea I want to roll with is like a backwoods mining cabin. Something along those lines. Uh, we've got this spot on the water here. It's not technically part of the river yet because it's not connected up on either end, but we will fix that. So I think we're going to do like a rickety little shack back here, tucked away in this corner. I think we'll do like a pump house or something over here to get water up from the river uh, to this elevation. And then to tie it all together, if you've ever been to those like gym mining places, like on the side of the highway, there are tourist attractions. And you go and you buy a bucket of dirt and... You take your bucket of dirt over to the trough, and the trough has these little screens in it. And you put your dirt in the screens, and it washes the dirt away to give you all the pretty, colorful, shiny rocks. And it's probably one of my favorite things in the world. It's definitely my guilty pleasure. I would do it all day long. I don't know why. I just like collecting them. But anyways, <laughs> um, uh, ignore that. Uh, but I think we're going to do some of those trough kind of things up here in front of the cabin. And we'll have just like tools and barrels and stuff dotted around. Just, you know, tools of the trade, details to kind of tie the whole build together. Uh, but I think what we've got to do first is kind of wander around here, get a rough idea of how I want things to look, where I want things to go. Um, and then we'll get some materials together and start building. So let's start out with the foundation of our cabin. We've got a rough shape framed out here, but it's going to be an older, rickety kind of building. So we don't want it to be a perfect rectangle. So what we're going to do, uh, we want it to be sort of an exaggerated version of what it would have been realistically back in the day. 
uh, with a stacked rock foundation. Um, so we're going to use kind of like a piling mentality. So uh, we can come in and kind of rough up the shape a little bit, uh, push some parts in, pull some parts out. Um, just enough so you know it's not a perfect rectangle. Uh, you don't have to go overboard with it, but, you know, something like that. Uh, so let's work on this side just a little bit. Um, can just kind of shape it out a little bit. Like I said, uh, we're going to pretend like they had to pile rocks up and then built the house on top of it. So we can do, come back in here. I've got some stairs and slabs. So those are always nice. So maybe something like that. And then... You know, you you just you just try some blocks out. That's gonna look weird. And see what you can come up with. Uh, there's no one way to do it. That's gonna bother me. I never like blocks sitting like on the edge like that. It's gotta be flat. Um, but yeah, something like this. So we'll, I'll do this all the way around, and then we'll come back and work on a frame outline. All right, check out my pile of rocks. <laughs> That's about all we've got so far. Um, I started to think about, you know, how would someone get into this house? So I put a little bit of a porch stairway on this side of the house. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do the framing part on camera. Oops, that's not right. But I think it's going to end up being something like this. Um, so still kind of a traditional rectangle as far as the actual uh, frame goes. Well, maybe not perfectly, um, but I think I want to have a fireplace or something in this corner, maybe. Uh, we do have fire spread turned off on the server this season, so um, we can do a little bit more decorative stuff. Um, but as far as building up the frame goes, I think I want uh, just a basic story on the bottom floor and then the top story I think I might try and offset one so it looks a little more unstable um so well come on now Hip, let me up so maybe the second story would be like here something like that see it's it's just a very crude idea I have of something I might want to do. And if I try and do it on camera, this would be a good thing for live streaming. Maybe I might try and do that at some point. I might try and do some more live streaming this season. Um, but yeah, I'm going to see what I can come up with. Uh, just take a few minutes off camera here. I do like that the post kind of goes down into the, the foundation on these well. Yeah, I did it on this corner too. Um, took it down uh, half a block in these corners. But yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of work and see what I can come up with. So I ended up going ahead and finished the cabin. It ended up being a little bit smaller than I thought it was gonna be, so it didn't take all that long. And I just made another dang crafting table like two or three minutes ago. Uh, but yeah, we're just finishing getting everything moved into the cabin step back and take a look I'm pretty happy with it I wish there was another like a dark grayish kind of colored slab to use for roofs I would use the crap out of that um, but we'll just kind of glance over this to look at some of the features I kind of figured that as old and rickety as it is he's just trying to keep this thing from collapsing from every angle so we got the wall's propped up, the roof is propped up. I used a, an anvil here to kind of break up the materials that he was propping things up with. Got the little porch that goes up here. We got a chimney. Put some netherrack in there and set it on fire so we get some smoke particles. But we go in here and it's very tight. You can see I've got kind of a monochromatic color scheme going, but uh, we got the, I don't know what you would call this. Probably need to maybe put a trap door over that. I don't know. I don't know what you'd call this, like a cooking area. It's not a stove or an oven, it's just a fire pit. So that's the fire pit. We got a bucket of water, got our bed, we got some storage, we got our uh, in chest here. Got a table for one because I don't plan on entertaining. Uh, I put some coarse dirt in here just 
because you know this is a no frills kind of place dudes out here mining not mining but painting for gold um got the furnace here and in this texture pack the uh the iron bars kind of look like tools like cooking tools hanging up on the wall i thought that was kind of cool and just stuck a dead bush in there for you know a little bit more decoration um, but i'm really happy with the way this turned out um if we ever get any kind of better slab option for the roof i'll come back and switch it out but yeah i'm really happy with the way this turned out um so i think we're gonna stop there for today uh, i guess i didn't point this out but we've got a little gap under the porch here i don't know if <laughs> there was a gunshot outside not right outside but we're out in the country so um we hear gunshots every once in a while but i think that's what that was uh but yeah i left a little gap here under the porch so you can see the foundation and how it wraps around the uh what's the front of the house now um yeah i think that's all we're gonna do today so next episode we will uh go really heavy into the details we'll come up with like a, a pump design to get water up here and work on those troughs we talked about earlier i'm pretty excited about that um yeah i think that's all we're gonna do for today so hope you enjoyed, and we will see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.